Hi, my name is Darius. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing camera comparison between Poco F3 and OnePlus Nord 2. I'm going to check video quality, do some slow mo, time lapse. So we're going to have fun because I'm taking my kids uh, for a walk and the dogs too. So it's going to be a real world test camera. Stay tuned. Let's start with front facing cameras. Both devices can do 1080p. However, Poco can do 60 frames per, S per second and Nord 2 can only do 30 frames per second. What I like about Nord, it actually tracks your face. However, Poco has more options in terms of bokeh effects and some special effects too. But now, so far, so good. Okay, so this is a ultra wide angle. Both devices can do 1080p, 30 frames per second. So let's check stabilization now. I think the Poco is a lot stable, in my opinion. So this is the main sensor. 4K, 30 frames per second. Let's check stabilization. Oh, they seem to be very, very similar. Again, on the small screen, for me, it's hard to tell. So, please let me below. Uh, let me know below which one do you think is more stable. Times two. Both can do 4K, 30 frames per second. And let's walk around to check stabilization. Hello, Kiara. Let's check the uh, dual video mode. Pretty uh, unique, nice feature on both of them. And I quite like that. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, smash that like if you haven't already. Thanks. Now I am going to check the macro mode. OnePlus Nord doesn't have one, but however, it should some pretty impressive pictures. Check this out. Right, let's have a look at the uh, menu. So, same here, got photos, videos, portraits, and when you go more, that's all you have here on OnePlus. However, on OnePlus, you get a lot more, such as vlog, movie effect, long exposure clone. Pretty impressive that actually you don't need a macro lens to uh, to shoot some decent macro photography and video. So well done, and award too.
so this is the main sensor I can clearly see the difference how brilliant this camera is on the OnePlus Nord 2 wow Okay, so this is footage from front-facing camera at night and I think Nord 2 is doing a better job not only in the front-facing camera but it's actually better at night overall with the pictures as well the pictures are sharper uh, the colors are more natural as well so yeah if you are a photographer enthusiast at night you should definitely consider Nord 2 so which device do you prefer? I think the POCO F3 has advantage because of slow motion, time lapse is more stable. However, stabilization I think is slightly better on Nord 2. Pictures are very, very similar. So you let me know which one do you prefer. However, also uh, it's pretty important because uh, Nord 2 is about 100 pounds more expensive than POCO F3. So if you are on a budget, Go for Poco F3. Thanks for watching.